Hello and welcome to the Adam Avell YouTube channel. Now that is a bold claim. So here we go with this perfect mash. Perfect mash there and it says sausage and gravy flavoured mash on the go. The instructions are you peel back the lid, you add water. Oh, oh, oh that don't look good. It was in Asta anyway, this is at Idahoan and it's called perfect mash. That is a bold claim. Before we taste it, let's have a quick look at how you make it. Perfect mash. So basically, you just pour boiling water up to that line. Can you see that faint line there? That's about the line. You give it a gentle stir to make sure all of the potato is evenly covered. Leave it for one minute and enjoy. It seems like quite a lot of water went in that. I filled it up to the light. Oh, look at it. Look at that. Oh, let's mix this up. Oh. oh, the smell of that is horrible. So you've seen how we make it. And it just says this is dried mashed potatoes with a sausage flavor, a gravy flavor. Oh, and gravy flavour. The writing on these packaging is getting smaller and smaller. Instructions there, you've seen how we make it. There were three different types. I think there was a cheese and bacon perfect mash and a bubble and squeak. I went for the sausage and gravy because I wasn't too sure what was going to be inside. I thought it might have been sausages and gravy with some instant mash. And it isn't. It's just flavouring at the end of the day. Um, it doesn't look the best, if we're honest. It doesn't smell the best. So it's been sitting in here a good two, three minutes. Well, it's got, it has probably got the texture of mash. There's a lot of steam coming off. I don't know what them different colour bits are inside it. It's quite thick, quite condensed, quite heavy. Uh, there is, no, I think I've mixed it all right. No, there is still a little bit of powder. I probably could have probably mixed it better. I think I saw something on this. Now, I thought it was going to be a viewing window, but there's not. But we can take this off anyway. Oh, that's that's a bit hot on there, but that's what you're getting. Let's just taste this mash. It don't smell nice, by the way. But it could be a wonderful discovery. These are new. I think the picture's gone up already of all the different flavours, but they're new. It has the £1.50 a pop. Sausage and gravy flavoured instant mash. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, well, it's like that mash you get like, on an aeroplane. You know that really, or if, or if you've ever been unfortunate to be overnight in hospital and they give you a little meal and it's got like a spoon of mash on it. It's, it's like a smash. That's what it's like. It's like a smash. I don't know what it's here. Sausage flavours. Is there bits of actual sausage in this? It's got coconut in it. What the crap is this shit? With sausage flavour and gravy flavour. Oh, what's wrong with these people? They're horrible. That is absolutely disgusting. What's that hard bit? What's that? What is that? What is that part right there? What is that? A bit of sausage, oh. ding. Right, well, I can taste the mash. It's very well seasoned. I can't taste sausage and gravy at all. There's a something seasoning in there that's making it nicer than I thought it would be. And rather than have it just as a snack, to be honest, that'd go well with some sausages and gravy. If I grab the butter dish and I'll add a bit of butter to it just to... Right, so I'll put a blob of butter in there. Trying to mix it. I hope it's melting quite quick, the butter. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad. A bit of salt, maybe. A little bit of salt in here. It might liven up the flavour a bit. 
God, if you like stuff like these, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you, to be honest. That is not mash. Now, I'll do the next video. Gosh, good. Next time I get Val to do this sort of shit. This is going to get eaten because it really isn't horrible. It's come out a lot better than I thought it would. But at the end of the day, it's just instant mash. I won't buy it again. But for a quick alternative to a pot noodle, perfect mash from Idaho and Idaho Han, whatever it is in Asda. You can't beat perfect mash if you make it yourself, obviously, but go and get some sausage and gravy and have it with that. And you'll probably be pleasantly surprised. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time for more perfect mash reviews on the Adam and Bell YouTube channel.